Hey everybody, I'm Vincent Di Pasquale, and we're here in the next video in our series, and today we're going to be talking about chords and chord progressions. Now, for today's video, I'm going to be using the Sounds to Sample Progressive House Synths and Stabs Bundle. And the real thing here that we want to take away and we want to teach you is we're not just making tracks, but we're making music. And by understanding the fundamentals of this music, you're going to have way more control of the sounds and the direction of your music and really take your productions to the next level. Now, this quick little video is just going to give you an insight of how we can have chords move from one to the other in a controlled chord progression. Now, this stuff gets dense pretty quickly, but we're just going to kind of keep it simple, simple here. You know, basically, you know, we know there's 12 possible notes in the musical system, and on any one of those notes, we can build a scale. And using the notes in that scale, we can build chords on each one of those notes. And using those chords, we can make progressions, in other words, going from one chord to the other. And this is going to create a great foundation and musical movement for whatever you're trying to work on in your productions. So let's go ahead and take a look quickly on how we can put together a cool progression. In the media browser inside Logic, I've got the Sounds to Sample Progressive House Synth and Stabs uh, 1 and 2, which is part of that bundle. And if I go into the first one, you can see the first folder is loops. And inside the loops, you can see various waveforms. And if I play this, you can hear it. And so that's a chord progression. And in the name of that wave file, it says F sharp major, C sharp major. So that's a chord progression using those two chords. And underneath that, there's a couple variations of the same wave. So here's a third variation. Similar sound, different textures. And then below that is the MIDI file for that same loop. So if you wanted to use that with a, your own synth, you could do that. So these loops are really cool because they show you some progressions and also give you the MIDI files. But what I want to show you is something a little simpler. And this is a great way to get started. And as I mentioned, this is about making music. And you know, a lot of people make beats, that's great, but we're talking about creating music and adding a lot of textures and sounds and movement with the music that, that we control. And by knowing what you're doing, obviously that's going to help out a lot. So inside the One Shots folder, you can see different sets. And each set, so for example, if I go to set 8, you can see there are one hit chords. So if I play this, it's just a D minor chord, A minor chord, G major, so on and so forth. Just simple hits with a synth with those chords. Now I've pulled out a couple of different sounds here. And this is where it really gets important, of knowing what key you're in. And a lot of times that's just choosing the key you want to be in, because you like the way it sounds. Um, so for this simple example right here, we're going to talk first about the key of C major. And in the key of C major, we basically have all these notes here. The white notes from C to C, and that's basically the C major scale. So we can use these notes from the scale to pull out and build chords. Now since these one shots are already chords built for us, I'm just going to pick a couple notes. So C is the first note in the C major scale, F is the fourth note, and G is the fifth note. So using the one, the four, and the five, I can pull from those chords and make a progression. So I've pulled out a C major chord, an F major chord, and a G major chord from that set list of chords, and I'm going to play around with that and come up with a cool progression. Now the beat we have playing is the beat that we created in our other video we did a, a, a while back um, called Building Basic Beats. And the bass patch that you'll hear later is also a bass synth that I built in a previous video as well. So you definitely want to go check those out if you haven't seen those already. So let's listen to these three simple chords that I've pulled out. It's basically a two bar pattern so I can bring this cycle, cycle loop back and it basically loops back and forth on itself. And again, that's just the one chord going to the four chord, then to the five chord, back to the one. Now, I've got the basic progression there, but now I want to make it a little more interesting. So I've duplicated a track, and I'm just going to copy down this C major chord, and I'm just going to create a different rhythmic pattern. I'll do the same thing for the F major and the G major, I'll copy that down. And now I can start to play around with the rhythmic progression. All 
All right, so this one, I wanna move this over actually a little bit more, and same with this one. See if we can get that a little better. Okay, so that's in the key of C major. Let's do the exact same thing in a different key. The cool thing about chord progressions and scales is that one thing that you can do in one key, you can do in any other key. So I've picked A minor, and in the key of A minor, I'm going to use the same progression where I'm going to go from the 1 to the 5 to the 4. So I'll switch, switch it up just a little bit, but using the same chords from the key of A minor. And I've got an A minor chord that I've pulled out from the same set. Then I go to an E minor, then a D minor, which is the 4 chord, and then back to the E minor. So that's the little progression that I want to build here. And if I pull up a little 4-bar loop, I'm just putting the chords at each bar to hear how it sounds. So I can copy these over and come up with a little more interesting progression that'll sound like this. And then the cool thing is going back to our bass patch that we created um, in the other video, I now have this bass patch and I can build a bass line using that chord progression going from A to E to D and back to A. So let's see what that sounds like. So I can either follow it or come up with different variations, but pulling out of that set and knowing what key I'm in and knowing some chords I can use in different positions, I can build a cool chord progression. So that's a very brief overview of a couple different keys and how you can build cool chord progressions. Now obviously there's a lot more detail and a lot more depth to the music knowledge in terms of what scales and keys and chords that you can use. And if you're interested in learning more, you definitely want to check out the new course by Fader Pro called Music No Theory which is a comprehensive music course that starts from the beginning and takes you all the way through and gives you these tools to know what key you're in, pick a key, pick the chords, build those chords, and make awesome progressions, and hopefully produce a next hit record. So, hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time.